Today I'm going to work on a new fabrication project for the Massey Ferguson tractor. Uh, about a week ago I hooked a trailer up to this receiver hitch and I was trying to back it up through a narrow opening and I discovered something that I did not foresee to be a problem. The three-point hitch has a decent amount of swing from side to side. It probably goes almost a foot from one end to the other. The tractor can be fitted with anti-sway bars that will run from these brackets underneath the tractor here all the way back and clip on to the actual implement here. Under further examination, I've realized that my tractor is fitted with a proper left-hand side bracket here and another left-handed bracket here. So this one is not oriented the right way. I don't know if that's going to matter, but the simplest solution was just to buy a fresh set of brackets, which I have here. They're galvanized. They look pretty nice. All new hardware. I have a proper left-handed and right-handed bracket. So I'm going to get these mounted up on the tractor. Then I'm going to move on with the project and start calculating the length of bar I'm going to need to stop that hitch on the back of the tractor from swaying so badly. All right, so follow along with me. I'll take you along the whole build process. All right, so both brackets are now fastened to the tractor. Fenders are back on. I reinstalled my three-point hitch receiver. Now I'm just kind of getting an idea of how my bars are going to lay out. They're going to go from one pin underneath the fender and attach down here onto the extension of the pin here. I'm going to have to do a little bit of uh, calculations. I'm going to drill some holes in some plate, and I'll bring you along for the process. Okay, this is my first bracket. Fits on there nice. I'm gonna have to do some testing on the angle. I'll have to raise the lift up to make sure I have enough clearance that it's not gonna bottom out on here. I also need to duplicate this same bracket for this side too. So I'm gonna have one on each end and then I'll have a pipe in between them. Alright, so I'm going to speed you up. I'm going to make a second one of these, and when I come back, there'll be an identical match to this one. And now we have two identical brackets.
Alright, so this is what I've got so far. I have my end piece tacked on. I have a piece of threaded rod inserted into the pipe. This piece is also going to be welded onto here. I haven't figured out which way I'm going to do that just yet. From what I've read, it's best to keep these rods under compression rather than tension pulling. So I don't even think I'm going to weld this nut to the pipe. I'm just going to leave this loose. Uh, both bars, one on each side, should counteract each other, and the forces should always be pushing in. And then if the forces for some reason are pulling out, there'll be the rod will be able to move. So it'll give me a little play. So rather than make it completely rigid, I'm going to leave this floating inside of the tube. So we'll see how that goes. Alright, so I have a test fit on the one side here. Uh, it seems to work okay. So, right now I do not have another bar made yet, but the way this is going to work is if it's got a little bit of slop in it side to side, the rod actually will move out a little bit. But when it comes in and swings in hard, it's going to compress against that and stop. I think I'm going to run it that way. Um, if it becomes a problem, I'll just weld this nut to that pipe as I said earlier. So it's looking all right so far. The one thing I did notice is I, I drilled the hole exactly 7 8 so it's a real tight fit on both ends. I might enlarge that hole to give it a little bit more slop and it'll make it actually a little easier to take on and off. Okay, this is the three-point hitch with no sway bars on it. This is the problem that I was faced with. When you have a receiver hitch in here and you're trying to back a trailer up, the tongue of the trailer can actually swing a decent amount, almost a foot in either direction. So now I'm going to install my anti-sway bars and we'll see how much tighter this will become. Okay, now I'm going to start adjusting my bars to start removing the slop here. 
So I'm gonna hold the hitch centered and then I'm basically just gonna tighten this first side until it's snug. Then I'm gonna come over and do the same on this side. And we'll just keep tightening these up back and forth with the hitch centered until there's no more play. As you can see, this is already starting to get a lot better. All right, now you can see with the bars installed, I have far less play. I went from having over a foot of swing either way, now I'm down to about an inch and a half. So this is totally acceptable. Nothing binds up when it goes up and down. These bars were a very simple, inexpensive project to do. Pretty fun, a little bit of welding and grinding. And now my hitch is gonna work a lot better when I'm backing up the trailers. So thanks for watching guys. We'll catch you on the next project. If you like this kind of stuff, subscribe for more. We'll see you later.